In this video, I want to show you how you can create custom chatbots using Magic School AI. Uh, so here I am in my Magic School dashboard. And if you have been in here at all and customized, yours will look a little bit different than mine. Um, but what I want to go to is the Launch to Students option over here on the left side of your screen. So when I click Launch to Students, it is going to show me student rooms that I have created in the past. I'm going to launch a new room to walk you through this process. When I create a new room, I'm going to see um, first a place to name my room. Um, so I'm just going to call this Custom Chatbots 2.0 because I was already playing around with it. Uh, you can set your grade level. You can set your max students. You're going to see that this is 250, um, but it actually goes beyond there. Um, so this has a lot of capability. Some of the free versions out there um, limit how many students you can have in a room. Um, so far, I think the answer that I saw was 10,000. Uh, so I don't think any of us have that many students, so you should be good to go. Uh, once you have named your room that your students will see, you can hit next. And then you will see all of the tools that are available to you for the, like, AI classroom that you can create for your students. Um, this is not a video focusing on all these tools. This is looking at the custom chatbot, um, but really actually character chatbot is the one that we want. You can make custom ones, um, but I actually want to look at the character ones because it draws from a little bit more. So I misspoke in the beginning. Um, so once I have this here, um, you can create more than one so I'm going to add three different characters that my students can interact with. And I'm going to hit next. When I come to the next, I have the option to customize each of these character chatbots. Um, so the first one I am going to name William Shakespeare, because maybe I want my students to interact with literary characters. Um, description, this is what it put in here for me, chat with any historic figure, author, or recognizable character from my story. Um, this was for 10th graders. Um, and here I'm just going to put William Shakespeare again. Okay. Um, and then this is what my students are going to see, that this is William Shakespeare, William Shakespeare repeated. Um, and I am going to hit next. And now I can test my customization to see what this will look like. Um, and so basically I can ask William a question. Um, so for example, I might ask him, what was your favorite work that you created? Not thinking about these questions ahead of time. Um, so I asked him, what was your favorite work you created? And I hit generate. And now it is drawing from all of these sources out there about William Shakespeare. Um, it is drawing from a huge body of work on the internet to answer my question. You're going to see that it's kind of written in a Shakespeare style. Greetings, fair student. <coughs> I am William Shakespeare, ready to converse with thee about my works and musings. Amongst the many plays and sonnets I have penned, Hamlet doth hold a special place in my heart. And then it goes on. And you can see that it it is like emulating William Shakespeare's style in this chatbot. And I can continue to ask questions. Um, were you ever in love? And it's going to, ah, oh, gentle student, love hath been a muse and a mystery throughout my life and works. Um, and it will continue. So your students can interact with this chatbot as much as they want, and they're going to get responses pulling from all of these databases and information out there about William Shakespeare to make it feel like a true interaction with William. Okay, and then I hit done. So this one is ready to go. And then I can customize these other chatbots um, for other literary, literary figures that I might have um, been covering in my unit, in my class, to create those options for my students. Um, the teacher that I saw do this um, recently, also created um, an amazing tool here for his students. So it was a chat with Teddy Roosevelt, um, a little bit of a startup here, and then this graphic organizer with specific questions that he wanted his students to ask Teddy. 
and then a place for them to write their own questions. So just something to think about as you create um, these you know, historic figures, these chatbots for your students. Um, maybe prepare ahead of time questions from your unit that you feel like um, they could dive deeper with their figure, um, but also maybe having a place for them to record the question they asked and some of the highlights of the responses that they got from their figure. Uh, going back to our room, we hit launch room. And there are a couple ways that you can share this room with your students. So obviously, we are not a Google school. You can grab the URL, and this can be posted in Schoology for your students to click on, or you can get a join code. So for our middle school students, this is a really great way. Um, you just grab that join code, post it, they shoot it with their iPads, and they're in to um, collaborate and talk to these chatbots. And there you go. Um, this would be my active classroom. I have no students in here yet. Um, if you have not had experience with a student room in magic school, um, check that out. That's not what this video is about. It's really about creating those custom chatbots for your students to interact with. Um, it's a really fun and powerful way to bring people to life for your students to interact with and in your curriculum and in your classroom and in your setting. Have fun.